Is muted. I don't know. Right. Can you start again, or yeah, Ernie? Can you hear me? <laughs> you were muted, and now you're frozen. Hmm. Cheney, hello. Yeah, Cheney, your camera is like bugging. This, this is what really happens when you watch X Men. Yeah. Oh no. That's oh, horrible. you're moving now, but it like yeah, pauses every move. now and then. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm glitchy, huh? Oh yeah, you're still glitched out on my end. Mm -hmm. I just hear you talking. Okay. All right. Let me see. Let's let's try. All right. So you can hear me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I may. <laughs> we'll we'll get started here, and then I'll back out, and I guess try and restart, and then come back. I guess. Okay. If it's really bad. I you got it. Started before. Yeah. Anyway, let's try this again. Hey guys, what's going on? Cheney one eighty. Dan, the fallen fed. Hey guys, what's up? Chamba. And Augie. Hey. And you're watching another episode of They're Not Dolls. Episode three hundred and seventy-two. Three seventy-two. Three seventy-two. What are you gonna do? 
four hundred it'll be here before you probably by summer. So yeah. Yeah. October. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. Augie, I don't know the the uh what are those called? I don't even know what they're called. Calendars? Uh time. No, like fall, winter, the seasons. Yeah, seasons. I don't know <laughs> if the seasons even you count are anymore. Totally from California. Yeah. Because yeah. you do not have seasons. No. Oh, we do. We do. We have smoke. <laughs> Fire. It's supposed to like I don't know, rain mm-hmm. again and snow tomorrow night or something. <laughs> it it rained here a little bit today. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, am I better now or am I still glitchy? A bit better-ish. You're better. Yeah, no, you're better-ish. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. It, it, it's here and there, but All you're right. much better. I'll hang in here. Um, his... Okay. Why can't it be cool like Adam was that one time? Remember when he sounded like, um, what's his name from the 80s? Max Hedrum. Max Hedrum, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, like he he legit sounded like it glitched at the totally perfect moment. Yeah. Like everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was so it was good. good. It was so he good. Was, he was like, <laughs> hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was it was so yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with myself. <laughs> That's amazing. He was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh Adi, how are you, sir? I'm good. Uh you'll see in a minute. Very broke. But uh, I'm good. I'm ready to talk some toys. So I feel like so much information came out. So many toys came out. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chamba. Good. Uh, tired. But, you know, there's a lot of toy stuff, which is always good. Always yes, good. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Ernie, how are you? Cool. Just driving. Riding down the road. Anywhere that I want. Oh, you know, God, season. Not, nothing gets in your way, huh? Nothing yeah. gets in my way. Just rocking <laughs> and rolling and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm doing all right. I'm glad to be here tonight. It was a different day today. Still not a better day, but different day. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't even know I'm excited to be here. I didn't know there was that much toy news. I've been, like, unplugged this week. Mm. Like, big time. Yeah, so we'll have to figure that out. So I can't wait to talk about that. How are you? Okay. All right. Besides awesome, awesome internet issues or whatever it may be. I'm, I'm glitching apparently. Yeah. You're, yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I'm glitchy apparently. Um yeah, tired. Tired. Um now I'm irritated because I'm like, uh, let me figure out what's going on here. So can I tell you something yeah. that's weird too? <laughs> Yeah, you say you say about Max Hedrom and you're doing it because your background yeah, you're doing is it, fine, yeah. and but your face is the thing mm-hmm. that keeps messing oh, up. Really? Just like him, yeah, it's, yeah. it's bizarre. But it's your creepy. your background no is is fine, so uh-huh. you're doing it. Yeah, well, his background should be fine because it's not moving, right? But the effect yeah, is but cool. It's it's not, yeah. He no. looks like he's the one he's, that's glitchy. The background's like, clear. He's not. Jamie, it's not digitized. Like force. You're like in the speed force. You're like, whoosh, whoosh. yeah. <sighs> yeah, lovely. All right. You might need to restart. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna back out and restart. But uh, Ernie, okay, you got it. Yeah, that's there. We go. You're Ernie. <laughs> yeah. the other Ernie. That's what you meant. The other. Yeah, yeah. I got scared for a second. I was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How are Chat Migos doing? I don't know. Let's check in with them. Hey guys, what's up? It's another episode of They're Not Dolls. We are the Toy Migos. While Cheney resets and uh, comes back later, is he gone? He is gone. Yes. Chamba, remember that one time I told you that we were just going to totally, you know, like really get into it? Mm-hmm. You know, I think yes. now's the time. You have control of everything, uh, right? I do, sort of. Adam, I sort of know how to work. Mad it. You this. Okay. All I, right. I still don't know how to work this, but. Yes. What's going on, chat amigos? How in the <laughs> are you? What <laughs> we're here. It's time to just tear and get into it. You know what I'm saying? This is like one of the top most episodes that you, you know? Seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's time to <laughs> so whoo. Did everybody get all that? I hope. Yes. Oh my. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
He's going to like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, guys. Welcome to the show. How is everybody? We are on episode 372. There is a Ooh. lot to talk about tonight, so let's get right into this. We got a generous super chat from Nick's Figs. Time for Ernie to reveal Cheney's deepest secrets. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. All right. Well, here we go. His name isn't even Cheney. What? It's, it's not. not. Yeah. It's not. Swear to God. Yeah. Stop. It's Josh. But don't tell nobody. There's a, there's a deep secret. But it's not like Josh, like J A W S H. Yeah. Okay, another shocker oh. because you gave two dollars, <laughs> so that was one dollar. Here's another one. Yeah. He likes storm collectibles. Like he collects storm collectibles. Yeah, he collects storm collectible. I swear to God. On purpose? As much as he yeah, as much as he hates it and everything. Yeah, it goes like Jada, then storm collectibles. I don't know and about then everything that. else. Yeah. <laughs> that one, why yeah. is he pushing it? Well, I'm letting out his deepest, low. darkest secrets here. Yeah. I caught him the other day and he didn't have a Jada Street Fighter in his pocket. He had a Storm Collectibles. At least that's what I think was in his pocket. I don't know. And it, yeah. <laughs> so I think it was Zangief like. that he had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big... <laughs> yeah. We'll say that for <laughs> another show, though. Is he Link where he like shrinks yeah. it into a pouch? Yeah. Like, we'll see what happens. But welcome to the show, guys. If you're new here, we are the Toy Migos. We're going to get into some toy talk today. Things do go off the rails here and get a little crazy. Um, unfortunately, Adam is not here tonight. He will be missed. Uh, shout out to the Butter Baron, Kevin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. He's having a celebration over there. Mm -hmm. And if you snuck over here, hi, we love you. Thanks for being here. Hit that thumbs up. And over there where it says, say something, say hello, hola, what's up? You are now a chat Migo, the most important part of the show. If you're a little shy and you just want to sit behind and watch from the background, just drop a dot in there, that period, and let us know the Hush Migos are present because we're still going to shout you out. Don't Ooh. forget, we do love the Super Chats. They will help Chamba break away from prison. As you can tell, he really needs to get out of the Australian prison. He's trying to really make it to Comic-Con this year, um, so we're going to see if we can fly him out. So send those Super Chats. He hasn't ate in days either, so I'm stocking up all of the Walmart cookies for him. And uh, did you see all the we're flavors? Gonna we're gonna do I a comparison. We're going to do a comparison, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Chamba, told you they have looks, every flavor. The thing is, it looks the part. But I, I think with more people there, we actually get to test it out. To oh, see if it plays. we Chamba. definitely will. What's Didn't up? Australia start out as like a prison colony? Yes, correct. So Ernie's not wrong. No, Ernie's not wrong. I know prison. my history. He's twisting yeah. it a little bit, but he's not wrong. Oh, uh, I'm not in prison. Yeah. Are so, you? Are you not? Please, yeah. Send if those super chats. In prison, then no one's in prison. I guess, yeah. Right. We're all in a prison. Send those super about... chats and remember free Chamba. Yeah. So you know it, it really does. It helps out the show and everything. And we'll highlight your super chat. We will say yeah. your statement, answer your question, whatever it may be. But now that everybody's checked in, shared their story, did anybody make a story for us? Go over there I right did. now. Let them know that we're live. Share it, repost it, whatever you have to do. Let's check out the chat, Migos. We got Nick's figs here today. Winger Luz is in the house. Lucky Butter. Pew, pew. Mark Rose. We got Gears and Sprocket. Dorian G is here. Rhino Hobbies. The Wrestling Hound. Woo! WrestleMania weekend. Ooh. WrestleMania yeah. weekend. There is no bigger hype going on than that right now. Yeah. Seriously. And it's been so it is good. huge. Wrestling is back on the table. Not like if it was ever off, but it is no. front and it's center really right now. And remember to acknowledge your tribal chief. But I do oh, want Cody to finish now. the story. I, I want him to finish the story. I do. For now. For now. I'm you think so he, that's we, it? We have to acknowledge him for now. Okay. All right. Zio Adams, Cousins by Matthew. Render Shadow is here. Grumps is in the house. I'm going Grumps. Grumps. Sath Amateur Hour yep. is here. Renegade Figures. Marcus Yee is in the house. Jimmy Seals. What's up, Jimmy Seals? How you doing? How are those deals coming out? A pronounceable name, Martinez, is also with us <laughs> today. We got Shelf Present, Stormfire Blizzard. How's it going, man? Less humans, more robots. Right. Always scares me to say. Eddie Soto, Born Tatum, Fortress Madamus is in the house. Robo Toast is also here. Venom 24, Winger Lose is here. Always with the, the best stories for everybody. Indeed. That was a good one. That, that was really good. Yeah. I liked it. Chill Zone Collectibles is here. Bo Art Takeover. Welcome to the show. Clockwork Orgy, Marcus E. Flamingo Sauce. How's it going, man? How's it look on your side? It's like all dark and scary over here on my side. Uh, we got Sonic Rockman X is in the house. Uh, Jelly Jam. 
What's up? Evening, fam. Jelly Jam. I like that. Yeah, that is. Nick's Fig, Side 9 is here. What's up? Andy's Pandies, how are you? Uh, Francisco Hernandez. What's up, Francisco? It's just fun to say. Blunt Forest Honesty is here. Who else do we got? Manic Mike is in the house. Uh, We got Shadow Bird, Born Tatum. Flamingo No Chewing is here. Also known as Robin. Uh, Let's see. Action Figure Academy. Sonic Rockman X. Marcus Shell. Vader Sug is here. What's up? Chill Zone Collectibles. KJ is in the house. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Nick's Fig with the very generous super chat. Chaney is trying to reset. He was Mm -hmm. watching on the back there. Maybe we got away with a little. (laughs) Kellyanne. How are you, Kelly? Oh, yeah. I just think about Ernie and Days and Confused and when the old guy's like tampering with the mailboxes is a felony and offense. I said that. <laughs> I said that because the mail went everywhere. So I had to run and collect it as well, too, because I'm like, I'm not going to jail for they think that I stole their mail as well. Like, yeah, <laughs> that was the first thing out of my mouth. And I was running down the street chasing mail. You're, mm-hmm. you're absolutely right. Uh, Venom 24, Jimmy Seals, Taurus 72 collects. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, let's see. He has a question for Chamba. Kelly, we're going to lose. Doombot9000 is here. Who else do we got? Flamingo Sauce. Obi-Wan Chingones. ¿Qué pasó, vato? How's it going? <laughs> uh, let's see. We got John is here, representing the Hush Migos, as always. See? Just like that. What up, John? Uh, yep. Who else do we have? Bat Force Grum. Shelf hey. Presence. Shelf Presence. With a very generous super chat. I'll kick in five for the swear jar, Ernie. You can do better. <laughs> Chamba Freedom Fun continues. Augie looking very Luffy today. Have a great night, all. Yeah, it's a great yeah, shelf presence. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, G Mox 42 you. is here. Scully Official. Vanessa is here. Nice hat, Augie. Everybody's loving it. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Scruffy Nerd. What's up, man? How are you? Eddie Ills is in the house. One six shooter. What's up, Trevor? How's it going? Santo 1414. Welcome back. Uh, Rockets, Blast Toys, G and Q. And Grumps to end it right now. Trevor is here. Grumps, yes, yes, he is. Grumps. Yeah, same oh, bro. I mean, it's dark you and can't cold. Say, and it's windy. What? You can't say Grumps is here. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, All right. We have to. to. He doesn't want to. Batman or is in the house. To hide that he's here. Yeah. What's up, Batman? Yeah. Yeah. Or should we just say Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne is here. Bruce Wayne. Yeah. All right. And Zion Collectibles just made it in there. Yo. Uh, you seem oh, wow. very much better. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Don't All move right. so fast. Yeah. Stop moving around a lot. <laughs> yes, <sir>. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. See, Grips is all. Thank you, Cheney. Uh oh. Sorry. Did I, did I put him on blast? I didn't mean to I didn't put know. him on blast. My bad. Yeah. It's all good. Um, so I, I wanted to, yeah. Uh, before we get into our our halls here, I wanted to hear about this mailbox thing. <laughs> so I was at work, dude, and I had a horrible day yesterday. Uh, we were shorthanded. I had to do another type of job as well. So I pull up, and I'm on a street that's very busy. Not only that, but as I pulled up, there's like a <laughs> line of buses behind me, school buses. So I really got to scoot over. Mm-hmm. So I, I see the customer's meter box on the side, you know, as I glance over, I'm like, all right, but there's a row of mailboxes in front of me. Well, I got to butt up right against them so I can get out and do my thing and be safe at the same time. Right. While all this traffic's going in the street. So as I do that, I realize I'm at the wrong house. It's actually the neighbor's house. So I just walk over there. Well, then nosy neighbor comes out and starts yelling at me. Hey, hey, hey what are you doing? And I tell him, well, he proceeds to tell me the information that I needed. Then he has a million and one questions about his service. So I'm answering the best that I can. But at the same time, like, I'm going to schedule, bro. I got to go. You know, (laughs) thanks for the questions. I hope I answered everything. And I got back in from the rear of the truck, not the front, because Mm -hmm. I was at the wrong house to begin with. So I jump in. I tell the guy, hey, I need to meet you. He tells me where to go. And I just immediately throw it in drive. The lane is clear and press on the gas. And that was it, dude. I took out three mailboxes, jacked up my truck. I don't even understand how mailboxes can jack up my truck. It is a big old Chevy Silverado work truck, dude. Do you know how bad it was? 
whatever you would call it, the the opening, the lip, the lid to a huge mailbox was jammed between the fender and my headlight and broke the fender open and cracked the headlight. I swear to God, like I I literally had to put my foot on the bumper <laughs> and I'm there like a cartoon to yank it out. Okay. I finally got it. And yeah. Now, while play. all this has taken place, <clears throat> that neighbor was still standing there. So he saw the whole thing. He watched, he watched the whole thing. He didn't even tell me anything. No. He recorded it. Yeah, yeah, I swear to God. It yeah. I get out and he just looks at me and goes, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. even worse. I get out, Chamba, and he goes like this. He goes, well, that's a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Are you serious, bro? Yeah, yeah. it is. Thank you. See, so, I wouldn't I wouldn't have said that. I would have been like, dude, what what like what are you on right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, That's I just gone. took him out hardcore. So there went my day and it just got worse from there. There's so, a worse to this? Oh boy. Yeah, there was. Then as I'm doing this and I didn't even have a chance to tell her, the next message that I receive is Corinne's card got hacked. Oh. So we had to shut that off, and yeah, I'm just like, oh, oh, no. of course, yeah, here we go. Hacked her debit card. Hey, they were trying hacked. to use it. They were used it at Kohl's. Oh, and then I they went. Said, I thought you said car. I, I thought heard, you said her car oh, got hacked. No, debit card. The card card okay. got hacked. Yeah. So they started car, doing yeah. these charges, yeah. and like by the fifth one. Yeah, I thought you said car. Oh no, no, no! Thank God, no, don't say that. Um. Uh, by the fifth one, you know, they're telling her, hey, you have a lot of weird charges going on, that type of thing. Mm. So I was like, are you serious, man? Yeah. So it was just one thing after another. Wow. And yeah. yeah she's like, There's all these these edibles on here and little <laughs> Debbie's and I don't know what's going on. I think it was a little Debbie cakes. They must have been, you know, I really shouldn't have bought them from that dude on the corner, but I didn't have time for a break. They, the brownies look delicious. So we'll see what happens. You know? Magically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was. Oh, my God. Yeah. So everybody, oh you know, really God. didn't understand. They thought I backed up into one. Other people thought it was just one. And now, like, by the end of the day today, everybody's laughing because they found out the real story. It was pieced together, right? Of like, oh, yeah, well, we hit mailboxes sometimes mm-hmm. or this and that. But everybody was like, you drove straight into three? Yeah, that's me. So guess guess well, what? Well, that's that's the that's really the part that kind of like surprised me. So like I'm <laughs> I'm it. listening and it's like, you know, it's like one, you know, one, okay, one and you stop. And you're like, oh man, what what have I done? Two is kind of like pushing <laughs> it. It's like, oh well, I really wasn't looking at what I was doing at the moment. Um, and I hit a second one. And, you know, the first one, I just didn't see it. It just kind of like, you know, I, I don't know. But then the third one, yeah. that's where it's like, whoa, man, what, what were you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I get it. You're totally right. It's like, it's like when you kill someone. You know, the first kill is a little weird. <laughs> yeah. And then the second one's a little easier. And then by the third, you're just like. It was natural. I threw it in reverse. Oh, yeah. 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 I threw it in reverse on the third one, mm-hmm. which is for good measure, made sure. I mean, that's what I heard. That's what I've yeah. heard. I haven't right. I haven't killed anyone. Yeah. It, it, that's what I've heard. And here's and here's the part here's the part where uh down the like couple years down the road on like the uh the dateline or forensic files episode, it's all he even openly admitted it on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it just like, like, like cuts to you say that you're all, you yeah, know, yeah. you just, Gotta kill one and another one, and it cuts to me with the slow motion laugh. Oh, 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 too yeah. good, too good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I do see someone asked real quick, and there's tons of comments, <sighs> of course. Well um, somebody did ask, Did you have to replace them? Yeah, that was my morning until 11 yeah. o'clock this morning. Yeah. I was replacing three mailboxes before the mailman got there, mind you. And yeah, I now understand why my truck was damaged because you should have seen the freaking cement kickers that I took out of there. 
I mean, these things were old school. So mm-hmm. it was so planted in there. Oh my god, Chamba. Like, yeah. Did I put him back that much? No, no, I did not. But I <laughs> so now when you hit him next time, they'll just yeah. fly and they won't damage your vehicle. Yeah. Right. It's gonna fall okay. down, and I could just put yeah. him back up and exactly. <laughs> replace them, you know? I'll be none the yeah. wiser. Yeah, who knew? Who I knew? could see I could see you just like kind of like propping it up with like a, a stick. You know, that's good. That's good. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody said yeah. on my show last night, that'll teach you to lose your All packages, right. huh, Ernie? Well, <laughs> I was like, ahead. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's get into our hauls. Yeah. Mm. Yes. All right. Um, you okay there? It's not working. What do you want to do? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it was big. It was perfectly there we go. Big. Hey. Um, I do want to say um, that was a low point, so we need a little upper. If you guys don't have plans tonight, you do now because tonight is a nice little milestone and a round number. To they're not dolls extra. Yep. And it is yes. open to the public. Mm-hmm. The inmates are running it. So come visit tonight after the show. Okay. Hall That's time. Awesome. All right. Show number 100. That I should have just, I should have called that. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. So Holothon's been happening. So my brother made me leave the house. So, okay. Let's start with these. Oh, he's okay. right. got a hole. I know. I. <laughs> And they're all here, and they're all here, not sent off. I know, (laughs) yet. Leonardo, (laughs) right? They will be Donatello, does machine. Raphael is cool. Michelangelo is a party. Do cover nice. Nice. Um, I have currently two of these. Oh, why two two of these? Nice. And I don't know how, but somehow three of these. What which one's that one? The, the bigger one? Or... Yeah, he's like yeah. a big... that's what I said. I go that's dope. You... Is this really? Yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's I think cool. cool. He was three. Um, this actually might be my favorite because I always wanted a uh, regular Baxter Stockman. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Right. Um I got this, but I I kind of want a Casey Jones. So for those of you who don't know, this head was revised so you could put it on your old Casey, but I don't have the other oh. Casey. So you're gonna so, go look for it. I'm, my brother probably has an extra. All right, but but he it's weird because in the cartoon he's not. Um, am I using the right word? Germane to the show, like he's important in every other version mm-hmm. of Turtles, but the cartoon. In the cartoon, he's yeah. like in three episodes in ten seasons. Right. We so. just remember him though, because of all yeah. his uh, appearances and other things. And I just have such a glare. But these are the the punk turtles. Nice. That was a big, big, big piece. Um, I did not go to Frankenstein yet, so I don't have more stuff yet. <laughs> That's still a lot, though. That's all for me. A hole. For me, that is yeah, great. It's a major hole. You're not just I listing got, things off that you sent. I got very lucky. That's dope. Is there something you're missing still? Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? I think I got. I think I got everything I wanted. If I had uh-huh. my way, I would want more more um, foot ninja, just like basic right. foot soldiers. I think if I had more than that, I didn't find Kirby. But I was going to ask I, about that. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> uh, Adam was looking for it, right? And I went to Target, and his coworker Edgar is holding Kirby, oh, and I just went, fuck. "Hey." Can I take a picture of this and send it to Adam? <laughs> so we did, and Adam lost his mind. Adam has Kirby now, so uh, was that was that for Adam or was that Edgar's? No, Edgar's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said he said. Well, what happened was I was at this Target earlier in the morning, and then after I left, there was a reason I had to double back for some reason, and mm-hmm. in between my two visits, the NECA guy showed up. Oh, wow. and put out okay. everything. And then yeah. I guess some collector just went like, 
just like grabbed a bunch of stuff and just went broop, and like all dumped it in a bag. And then for some reason, missed Kirby. And then randomly hanging on the pegs, he missed a foot ninja. Oh, okay. I went, Yoink. So I took that one. Yeah. And then, uh, and then yeah. And then Edgar got um, Kirby and we laughed and laughed. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the neck has been putting out a lot of good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to these turtles because I thought these were going to be kind of like ultimate ones hmm. and they're really nice. I like all the accessories that they come with, which is probably like the driving force of me keeping them. But do you remember the turtles that came out with the trench coats, how they all had yeah, interchangeable yeah. mouths and eyes? So this one doesn't have it. No, that's what I thought. They had. I that's what like, I thought they were too. They I thought have, they were like, supposed to be like heads. that. Hmm. They have other heads, but they're more episode specific. But their okay. their faces are stuck in one expression. Hmm. I feel like I would keep them. I don't own Toon Turtles. My brother probably has like four sets, but hmm. I I don't have any yet, and I want to have a nuclear set in my room. And for some reason, I feel like Donatello and Leonardo could have traded expressions because Leonardo is smiling, and I always hmm. see him as like like doing this face. But then right. this face, right. more or less, is on Donatello. Oh. So I'm like, why? Yeah. But he comes with a cool twirling staff accessory, like in mid twirl. So it's good. It's good with the battle face, I guess. So Donatello is my favorite. So I probably are gonna... they the same color skin tones as the four pack from before? The one with yes, the trench coat. Yes, they are. The reason why the four pack was so sought after, it wasn't just all the interchangeable expressions. It was because they they were doing multiple print runs because there was a lot of running mm. changes when they mm. first came out. People were complaining that the 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 plastic came out really shiny when turtles always have like this matte finish. Right. So later print runs of the turtles started coming out with matte. So uh, are these ones matte finish? These are more matte, I think. Because I was wondering if like you can interchange yeah. the heads of those into this one. Yeah, but I'd have to find I have to find the trailer. Right. I'm saying like if, if you owned yeah. all of them, that is. If it was oh yeah, maybe. Do I don't that. know. You're right. I, I'm I'm not a, a NECA historian the way my brother mm -hmm. is. He has like I wonder if anyone in the actual the chat show. has that. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if anyone has tried that in the chat as well. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, okay. You guys, okay, Nick Speaks in that match. That sucks. Oh well. That's okay. I mean, I really always wanted the turtles in the, in the trench coats anyway, so that would probably be my version regardless. But there's some neat episode-specific stuff, like different animals, Donatello's a degree. There's a lot of episode-specific, um, like, one-off items, like pizza dough falling on their head. There's a lot of cool stuff. I just I think this was, like, $36.99. I don't know if it was worth that price, but, mm. like, for someone like me, I haven't had the turtles yet. This is a great like little satellite collection. The thing mm. that I've always wanted is um, we already have Baxter and we have a lot of early Ninja Turtle stuff like Splinter and they're all kind of done in the Kevin Eastman style. Right. And I feel like they should revisit one, the original Kevin Eastman Turtles again. I know right. they probably don't have the molds anymore, but they could just re-sculpt them. I know Dude, we'd all at this them. point, I'd rather re-sculpt them. That way you yeah. can actually incorporate any of the modern articulation and engineering they have now. I would love to have another round out. of the Kevin oh, Eastman turtles. I'm sure yeah. a lot of folks would too, dude. I'm sure and I'm and I'm really would. surprised we have not gotten a new shredder yet. Mm -hmm. With all the versions mm. of the turtles that we've had, I would love to get like a season one shredder where he's a little more intimidating, his his the the gleam the glare uh the gleaning on his silver on the metal mm -hmm. where it looks really metallic. Um I don't know, I would love all that stuff. So that's that's kind of it. I can't believe I've talked this much during my haul. That's it. I had that was it. Um, Chamba, you're next. What? No, you... uh, we'll we'll go to uh, we'll go to Ernie. You want to go to Ernie? Yeah. Yeah. Is there is there a way to get? Oh, there we go. I didn't know if we could. How do, do we that. focus on Ernie? He'll find it. Move me around. Oh, let's just go full uh, screen. We, it. we can do Hollywood Fat. It's not a problem. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, right. how do we? Well, since we're back to me, Custom by Matthew says that uh, <laughs> I said they are redoing Shredder. That redoing Shredder. When I found that oh, they were redoing April, I was like, all right, Shredder, 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 Shredder. Boom. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, it's yeah. just you got to move around. Yeah, I got I to gotta shuffle it around before. I <laughs> right on. Yeah. All right. So it was uh, really interesting because I got I had a really cool, cool week. Um, we got sponsored on the Boba Squadron by Heroes and Villains. Goes. 
That was cool. And they sent over a uh, a care package, and it's my first one of Ooh. like being like sponsorship, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, How'd that and had that feel amazing. I feel yeah. like I stole it. Like <laughs> yeah, it was right. insane. It's like I, I shouldn't have this, but I and we this. immediately went to no, Disneyland. Ernie was even like, though... I should have this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ernie's like, I it's just about time. This. <laughs> yeah. He's appreciative, but also there's oh, I was time. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. So it's a great line. Um, if you guys go to heroesvillains.com, I mean, they have tons of stuff for every type of fandom. I got videos and more coming out. Um, if you want 20% off, use Boba 20 in there and like that, and you'll you'll score some stuff. So it's all really cool stuff. I have hats from them. They're at everybody's cons, if you're wondering who they were. But they mm. sent me over um, uh, a brand new bag. Oh. So this oh. thing is amazing. As you can see, I went everything Boba Fett, of course. This is going to be my new con bag, nice. probably a park right. bag as well. Um, the little details that they throw into everything is amazing. So I got that. I got me a vest um, that I showed off during the show. That hoodie right there, sick. Look at that. They and then WonderCon, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There I is lots of cons. That booth. Yeah, two people separately brought me to that booth. So you got to check these guys out. I totally know. Like yeah, their, their stuff is amazing. It is. The and then, dude, more than that, I'll, I'll repost another video, but a right. Letterman's jacket of Ooh. Mandalore with a big old mythosaur in the back. It's so sick. You got that one of those my two? favorite. Yes, that was nice. That was my haul from them. So that right, was, um, you know, thank you, Yoko, very much for making that happen. Uh, very thankful to be a part of that. And I did want to share because that's the first time of me ever receiving something like that. So mm -hmm. I was like, Oh my god, no this is no amazing. Doubt. Yeah. So I'll have more going back to Disneyland to shoot it the proper way. Uh and then speaking of Yoko, she had a trip to Tokyo. So she sent me a care package. Look at that. I got a Disney Boba Fett key. That's oh, so wow. cool. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday you were like, it's the best. <laughs> it is. And she's like, I just it, had yeah. it laying around. Yeah, um, she was just like, oh, it was, it was nothing, but yeah. <laughs> Chamba, what are the machines called? Gachapon. Okay, so we got one of these. I don't know how to open it, obviously. <laughs> he was struggling, dude. <laughs> and this, I don't know what yeah, happened. A mini movie poster, yeah, and that's the one that I got. And then she so. sent over a Hot Toys Cosby, not the Cosby Babies, but this Cosby. one is both that. Yeah, look at that. I, I, I love those designs. They're yeah, like, these are freaking super, awesome. It's like super chibi, those ones. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's it's great. So I got so that thoughtful. as well. And then um, Amazon finally went back up after my whole stuff. So no, I never received my packages. Oh, no. They sent me a they sent me a, another email and it said, thank you for returning your things. We'll credit you. <laughs> I never got them. So oh I still need one more, but I have quick. Kids. Oh my God. That's hey. awesome. Yeah. So Finally. I'm super happy. Like I said, this was my, if my brother had figures from storm shadow to snake eyes and everybody that he played with and we did constantly quick kick was my go-to, you know, mm -hmm. he's the movie actor, the funny guy, everything. So I'm so happy that this became awesome. a thing, dude. Two sets of nunchucks, hands, an extra head, the swords, his candy bar, the backpack. I love how like, he is. It's got a candy yes. bar? Yeah. Well, yeah, because he's the... an actor. He was doing a, like a candy bar commercial. In his yeah, oh, that's awesome. So, so they called that. So that well. That's beginning. awesome. They, they threw it in. It's like that's the wrapper awesome. and everything. Hey, Stack Ernie, Ringos. Yeah. You know what you could do quick? Rip into what? it. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Get, you, there's no... I but here's the thing: if you open this one up, you're still gonna find another one, anyways. I gotta right? find another one. Well, I gotta see because they're already going up. Oh, and I caught I this one by chance. Yeah, I Bernie, I would He's... never pressure, but we have super chats, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we went, just we went yeah, no, just no. saying, just saying. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, oh, I didn't bring it in, but I got some video game stuff as well. Cool. Um, if you guys know, I like video games, and for those who are unaware, TikTok may be like being shut down so all these people who sell stuff <laughs> stuff is at crazy prices right now and mm -hmm. i don't know if anybody has ever been leery of it but it's real it is super real 
And so I'm talking microphones for you to podcast with, like from your phone, are like three dollars. Um, I got me an RGB light for six bucks. The thing is super amazing. I'm gonna get a couple more of those. Yeah. Um, and I got some video game stuff. And right. um, I finally, Chamba, have a portable video system. It's called Abernick, and it okay. plays Marvel versus Capcom two. Hey, beautifully, lovely. Lovely. beautifully there is no glitches the sound is amazing dude i can't oh i gotta show it to you next time it's amazing i love it and i got it for uh 25 it should go for 35 but i used another coupon and like i said it's just it's unbelievable because people had stores that they want to sell this stuff right and it should mm-hmm. be like a 80 dollars 90 dollars mm-hmm. is what they go for and that's what i got it for it's legit it's amazing Whoa! Um, I'll show Dude. you guys on the extra. But yeah. meanwhile, shelf presents. Shelf presents. Shelf presents. Yes. Jump on them. Five twin ego membership. Thank you, shelf presents. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Sure awesome. That. Who got them? Rick Jones, Jones a new member. Wait, Flamingo Sauce, Omega yeah. Weapon Thirteen, Eddie Soto, Zion Collectibles. Yo, congratulations, guys. Wow, congrats. Thanks again. You can Shop now stick person. around for the TND Extra, but tonight, mm-hmm. don't worry. Yeah, ladies in free before everybody. 10. Doors open <laughs> for everybody. Drinks are free tonight. Come on yeah. over and join the 100th episode of They're Not Dolls Extra. This is what we usually do for members. So tonight's mm-hmm. going to be an extra special night. So come on and join us. Um, just real quick, Clockwork Orgy. That's exactly what I got. I got the H system. I hope you love yours and you hope you found the correct Marvel versus Capcom 2. It's under um what is it? No- Nokia? Nokia, I think. Mm-hmm. Um I'll ha- I'll show it off. I'll show it off during the extra. Wicked. But I'm oh, in cool. love. Yeah, grab it. Grab it. Yeah. Then. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's it. Sweet. Wicked. All right. I um I don't know if it's a um router issue or something i don't know how do i sound now am i better now no you're great there's no glitches yeah it's been great okay it sounds been fine it's your video that was always oh okay yeah because like on my end like you guys will like cut out here and there so oh oh uh, hey guys full screen yeah no i can hear (laughs) well no because i've got it on my phone too so i've been able to like listen the whole time it's much better now i um yeah, no, it's all it's real smooth okay. now. So yeah, yeah, you're not glitching at all. Looking at the good moment. now. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Hopefully, it stays that way. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, I'm still getting pieces to get the new PC, so I've been slowly Ooh. working towards that. Um, you know, all the memberships, all, all the stuff for memberships, that all goes to building the PC. So hopefully I don't have this issue again. Uh-huh. Um, but thank you guys so much uh, for being patient with me. I only got one thing this week. Um, and that was this guy right here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. Berserker Ooh. Armor Guts. Love it. By who? SH Bondi. Figure Arts. Oh, there's a figure arts one. This yeah. thing is so nice. So, so nice. I love this figure. Words cannot Top describe. Um, Top ten. Oh, for sure, for sure. It uh, it moves like, like it just a dream. Um, I agree with Adam. You know, the sword is heavy and uh, unavoidable. But, you know, I yeah, I was talking to Chamba about it. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like, I could see myself picking up another one and gluing the sword yeah. so that you could get him into like crazier poses and stuff. So. I may. It's mm-hmm. tempting. Yeah. Like that's not a yeah, rush purchase, yeah. but it's something I could eventually do. Yeah, it. Uh, this thing's awesome. I, I can't. Um, I haven't been able to put it down. It's it's absolutely great. And I think that's. Oh, you know what? No, that's not it. There's there's one thing that I did get. One thing um, from my wife, and I was so excited about it um because i've been bugging her for a while because you know she'll buy these sticker packs for the kid and whatnot and i'm like you you know they make street fighter ones right (laughs) and so so i got all these street fighter stickers Mm. oh for reals yeah 
Those That's so dope. dope. Yeah. Any of Chamba's artwork in there? Probably not. not. Um, I think there might have been. I think there might have been one that I did see in here. I'm like, hey, that looks a lot like Chamba's work. Well, yes. uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we do is licensed stuff to them. So I mean, they have. Yeah. These people don't I think care. some of them might be from uh, other Udon artists, though. Yeah. No, I, I I definitely recognize some of them for sure. That's dope. But, That's uh, an awesome yeah, sticker pal haul, though. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's 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 a decent amount. Like. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to put them on, but it doesn't awesome. matter at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's, put them on it's your awesome. new PC. Oh, there yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're about three or four pieces left. And nice. then super chat, yeah. super chat, super chat. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what, what it's been, everything's been going towards lately. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, and the Chamba Freedom Fund. That I mean, well. Chamba Freedom Honestly, Fund. That's not a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. the pc is necessary to keep the show running yes chamba yes. you gotta understand how they work chamba we say right. computer and they're like oh and we say yeah chamba needs to get free right, okay. over here. Yes, they're, they're, they're like get me out of oh australia. my god help me yeah Save me from australia i need a free chamba i like thug life uh thug life marcus's comment he's all street fighter pasties yeah, no, that. I mean that's yes. a good thing. We're thinking about other stuff. Other that's than a these. weird that's a, uh, yeah. cosplay, I guess. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I it before, Chamba. So yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got, Chamba. What'd you get this week? Um, I got this week. Uh, Cheney sent the uh, what is it? The care package finally, which is a bunch of stuff that we always send stuff back and forth. Usually snacks and stuff, but this time I had a few manga that I wanted to ship down because they were just couldn't find them here in Australia. And including amongst those things, there was a bunch of figures which were there. So the uh McFarlane Bizarro Batzaro two pack. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Their head sculpts, some of the some of my favorite of the actual whole lot. It, yeah. It's just, they look so good. They look so good. The bodies are so limited with what they can do and it's yes. so frustrating because yes i think all the points of articulation they've got a diaphragm cut they've got the one and the mm -hmm. and the waist it's both ball but they're so limited so i'm what i might do is i might heat it up and pop it out and see what i can do with modding it yeah. possibly on the um, the torsos you'll be able to dremel out like a whole bunch of area excellent and that'll excellent. that'll help you move because it's it the diaphragm that diaphragm is garbage um, it's just a swivel joint the way it's set up right now, but it's not function. It doesn't function at all. Like that's what I mean. It's garbage. just a swivel yeah. joint. It does, there's garbage. no crunch. Yeah. Also in hand, you really noticed how large their legs are. Like the proportions are insane on this thing, but mainly wanted it because those head sculpts are just too fantastic. I think they nailed the Ed McGuinness sculpts to a T and yeah, they look fantastic. So I'm going to most likely mod the torsos. On that, on those ones, uh, something fell. Uh, what else? We've got uh, from Joseph Joker on Discord. He sent over the. Oh wow! What was oh, this? That looks um, good. Salmon Max. Boss fight. Boss fight. Studios. Salmon Max. Again, kind of like the McFarlane. Oddly enough, it's weird to you know really praise McFarlane stuff, but they nailed those head sculpts. These things, the sculpts, phenomenal. <laughs> um they just look like they just step right out of it and mm -hmm. main issues is they really could have done so much more with the range of articulation here uh he like max doesn't have any ankle joints at all and it's just it really limits it oh. but the sculpts are so good does you know it's neat because they they look great they've got multiple heads and they've got multiple hands which are, to me some you know, should be the standard, really. So I love that aspect, and I think they look phenomenal. So thanks for those. Uh, what else was there? There was premium DNA battle toads. Oh, nice! Again, Sweet. the sculpts sculpts on these top notch. This thing is quite unique in the way he sculpted, and just it's so light. It's so bizarre. Mm -hmm. This thing it's is so light. In comparison to these two. Who were silly heavy. Mm -hmm. Just, I think my main problem with these two figures is that while I love the actual articulation points, the joints are really actually butter smooth. Um, they're top heavy. 
the the two torsos are just solid plastic, and because of that, it really you kind of need stance. down on the joints. Mm-hmm. It bears totally, down on totally. the knees and the hips and the ankles. The joints yeah. are strong. I, I right. think the joints are strong enough, except the problem is the weight. And mm-hmm. if the weight on the two to- torsos weren't too heavy, these things would be easy, like 10 out of 10. Right now, they're definitely up there, though. They're fantastic. The sculpts are great. If you like Battle Toads, then definitely look into it. I hope they do wave two, and I hope we get um, z- uh, what we got Pimple, Zit, Pimple is the one that we need. We got Zit and we got Rash. Rash, so, yeah. Rash here. Zit. We need Pimple. The brown one. Um, what else I got? Uh, Cheney sent over the older... What was this? Older Nightcrawler. Mm-hmm. I got to say, this thing, sculpt-wise, I love the head sculpts. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Phen- phenomenal. It's weird handling a Legends again, because I, <laughs> I don't really have many. Yeah. <laughs> so handling it, I was like... Oh, this is, you know what? I've been spoiled by Jada figures because I love Jada figures diaphragm cut. Mm-hmm. That ball joint can get so far. There's something about this this ab crunch here, which I know it's it's functional, but man, aesthetically, not the best looking thing. Like that's what is this? What's going on Wait, there? You but don't know bu- you don't have bubbles coming out of your. Back? I don't. I don't. <laughs> unfortunately, um, I also didn't realize he didn't have um ankle rotation. He should. Which was, I mean, oh no, oh rotation, the, not, the boot not cut. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the boot cut as what would some would refer it to. He doesn't have that, and I was like, hmm, that's quite interesting that they didn't include it somewhere around here. But otherwise, this figure is dope. I actually like it a lot. I like that. I like the head sculpts on him. It looks great. Yeah, it looks great. great. And he came with extra hands, which I'm like, come on, that's how you do it. Extra hands and extra heads. You yeah, there's no the... boot cut on the new one either. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, from Jada, you got Chester Cheetah. This thing is just magic. This thing is way better than it needs to be. Yes, this has no reason to be as good as it is. It's insane. Which is, it's kind it doesn't of a... make any sense. It's yeah. It's. I hope they make more um food mascots. Yes, that would be killer. That would be killer. And um, Dulcim and Ken, and you know, dude, they're rounding off everyone at this point and i can't wait that was, it might be one of my favorites this thing is so good just Head wait sculpts. till you get in bison in hand like i we'll love see. i love dalsim but for some mm. reason and bison, bison just, does it oh dude they killed it. it's also it's also nice to see that they're um i feel like not only is the plastic quality and their uh the joints are improving as they go along. I feel like the sculpts are also getting better and better. Like the, the sculpt is almost like he's getting more used to it. I don't know, but they're looking cool and they look great. And it's great to start seeing what the actual Street Fighter line is, how it's building up. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, something you'd never really expect to see at all. Uh got the Dragon Ball Z Yamcha. This is an older body, but it still does the job. And you just realize how garbage the ankles were back then. Garbage ankles. But he looks cool. The head sculpts are great. It looks the part. And it's are nice to get, finally um, have like the Z Fighters. Are you going to get Dr. Giro so he can punch through him? I it, It'd be nice to, but I'm like, um, it's a cool little accessory. I'm like, I don't, I don't need <laughs> the whole other figure just so I can kill this guy. Um, Especially with those pictures I sent you. <laughs> Hilarious photos, hilarious photos. You get really creative with this one. Yeah. And the last one. What was the last one? The last one. Let me let me grab onto it. It is the Berserker Armor Guts, also okay. the one that Cheney has. This thing is a top tenner. They I know people had issues with the guts previously. My main issue with it was how loose and kind of weak the ankles were. It's much improved. The wrist is going to be a problem regardless because, again, Cheney already stated that sword is way too heavy, just in general. So what they probably should have done, um, instead of the swap out legs, they probably should have gave it like a forearm that's a fixed forearm. That probably would have solved it. I think like if you could pop it off at the actual elbow, which most of them you can anyways, they should have just done it that way. I think it would have benefited, you know, but yeah. That's the hole that I have. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Uh, last two things were 
D Blake make signs. So we got the KO, which is so good. Yeah, dude. That's dope. I love this. Yeah. I was like, dang, that's that's dope. Thank you, D that is dope. Okay. Thank you, D Balake Marquez. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yes. And Spider Man, that's so good. Oh, so D. good. Balake so, that's D. It. Balake. D Balake Marquez. <laughs> Killing it. You were you were here for that one, were you, Ernie? No, that <laughs> oh, is yeah, great. That I yeah, just that... heard it, and I was yeah. like, "Yes." Yeah, that was when we had um, <laughs> was when we had Machu and Jay Shot and Rick on. Uh -huh. and I don't even remember how that like formed or happened, but it was uh, it was great, and it's it seemed to have stuck. <laughs> it's too. worth a rewatch for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cheney, I yes. like a favor. Can you tag me back in? Yeah. There was something from my haul that I forgot. This is actually from last week. I, I said I didn't have anything. And then after the show, I was like, oh, my God. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Chad and David from Tweeterhead. Uh, they were helping out a little tiny Kickstarter, and which went through. And uh, they got the items. And Chad thought that he had ordered two. And turns out he bought three. Oh. And he kind of went... Oh, uh, Dave, do you think Augie would want one? And yes, I did. Oh, I this oh, oh wow. Ooh, look at that. Dang. It is as heavy as it looks. It's Wait, that's a book. beautiful. It's like 20 or 25 pounds. This thing is cool. And it's a love letter to the fans. Uh, I could there they took like top 10 pieces of art that were voted on by people in the Kickstarter and they made prints of them. Oh, so like prints. one of them, for example, is like Baroness's card art, and you could frame it like they're hmm. full-size prints. That's it's dope. it's a catalog of all the artwork from G.I. Joe, every action figure, every vehicle, every magazine, everything, everything. Just that's, that's awesome. amazing. Yeah, and and it's it's yeah, it was really, really um generous of them because this is this is as heavy as it is, it's as expensive as it is heavy. So um, awesome. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. I was really embarrassed that I got to the show last week and I didn't say uh, thank you because I had to pick up my jaw off the floor when I saw this as I was opening the box. So again, thank you, Chad. Thank you, Dave. And let's talk about toys. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I did want to comment though, like something like that for you is just like top tier. Like it's yep. like, it's like beautiful. I don't yeah. know where I'm gonna put it. It's so big; it doesn't fit in. Like any... if they did a Masters of the Universe, also he would also oh be my all. Gosh. Oh. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Just the origins art alone. When that mm -hmm. line is finished, I need art book. Here, I just popped it open. I'll give you. I'll give you like a taste. Please, so, I'd like, love to see what's inside. Oh, yeah. I see. So this is like the begin. This is this isn't even it. This is not even the book. This is extra stuff. So you open it up and it's got artwork in there. Oh, this is, that's uh, nice. This is a double spread. Oh wow. Yeah, let me let me pull these out. So there's an there's um there's prints that are editor's choice and then there are hmm. prints that were backers' choice. So I'll I'll show you the um the backers' choice. I think these are for sale as well after it, but these are like these were picked by the people who backed it. So here's one. I'm not good at this. So there's one. Uh oh. Uh, this is what hang on, let me put this. And the and the and the quality on the paper on the prints are amazing. Oh, yeah. the, I want to frame this. Yeah. This one of my you favorites. should. You this should is, frame it. I frame love it and put it up original, on your wall. The original Joe's. Um oh, that's cool. That's nice. All, the, all these paintings. Let me see. Yeah. High These quality are, prints too, right? I want to contact people and go, I have some I'd like you to make prints for me. I'll pay you. But um, these are Ooh. just insane. Well, you're That's definitely gorgeous. framing that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's going right. to be some that you're framing for sure. Yeah. And these are, these really are again, these are chosen by the backers. I'm not, I'm That's hoping so I'm cool, to man. This. Some gorgeous artwork. Oh, I would love if they did something like that for the uh, the Toy Biz X Men from. Oh my god, that'd be nice. Yeah, this is pretty cool. That is cool. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love that one. That's awesome, man. The <laughs> Snake Eyes, so nice. They made him twice. Heck yeah, they have to. But he got into the top oh, ten for two. One. That's 
as it is. Look at that. So that's, that's, that that's, that's so good. Just, so these are just the prints. I hope I'm not destroying you. These are just the prints. Um, I I want to open the book really quick just to give you an idea of kind of what's inside. Uh, yeah, go for it. So here's the, I, I'm just hoping I'm very clumsy, so I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally rip or tear something. But whatever, you get what you pay for, right? Um, <laughs> so this is this is the actual book. Yes, it's still super heavy. <laughs> Despite the fact that I it well, it's a good of, thing you get oh, in the gym, right? Oh, <laughs> God, not enough. Okay, um, let me let me hang on because there's like a licensing guide. I, I kind of want to get to like an open page. Let me see. Um, this would, this would be like an example. I don't think I'm gonna do this right, but but I don't know if oh, you that is so cool. That is they go great. through each one. That is and it's every figure in every year, every vehicle, everything. No wow. wonder the book is big. Yeah. Massive. Like all, yeah. Like every single one of these could be pulled out, printed. and That's perfect for a coffee table, man. You oh, just throw that on the coffee I mean, table. I mean, it'd have to be a strong coffee table, too. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put it, I don't think you'll put it anywhere. This is actually really cool yeah. for people who backed it. I think there were people mm. who did um, a. Uh, these are the people who backed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear this <laughs> um, but it's their childhood oh, photo. Oh, oh wow! wow. That's cool. people, yeah, I just think this what is a really great shout out to the fans. Wow, those that's so cool. That, they probably asked them to send in some photos of them on Christmas or birthdays, and that's amazing. Photos, so. Yeah. I think there's a picture of some friends crying that they didn't. Get the That's flag. great fanfare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really great. But anyway, I wanted to share that and, and say thank you again. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. sure. That's, really cool. That's sick. That's Thanks, cool. yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, we have a lot to talk about, and we're actually on schedule tonight. We're not a we're not ahead of schedule at all. So no, I got a good hour to talk. To, yeah, to yeah. I did say on Tuesday that you know when we have the uh, the Sentinels with us, for some reason we get way ahead of schedule. Those guys, <laughs> we man. blaze through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, to J Shot and Machu Machu Man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's Ever, go ahead and get into some efficient. of this toy news and uh, let's see what's cooking here. All right. So if you missed last week's show, go check it out. We had a lot of fun. Um, Adam was here. The whole crew was here. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. So go, uh, go check it out. It was good. Um, Augie, where are we going first? Ooh. Um, are we going to go to Tila? Should we go to Tila? Mondo Tila? We could. Or if there's choice or mine. <laughs> that, well, I'm just, mine? yeah, yeah. I'm asking you. So oh, I mean, I'm, to? I'm whatever. Let's, let's do Tila. Let's. Okay. We'll okay. do it. The, and the answer is yes. So you are? <laughs> I ordered. I we're, oh, nice. We definitely, <laughs> definitely pre-ordered it. I'm shocked nice. at the number of photography, like the amount of photography on this. There's like 27 different photos. I'm being, I'm being sarcastic, but there's so many shots of these and so many good They're ones. All good, Look dude. at this one. So many of them wow. pulled right out of the mini comics. There's so, oh, God. The, I mean, Her expression. Yeah, what do you do? Well, I That's remember sick. seeing that figure in person too, and I was like, "Holy crap, that came out amazing!" Mm -hmm. It's arguably one of the best female like faces I think I've ever seen. There's a 2000 X ponytail from the 2000s cartoon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, and it, there's see, she's frustrating to me because there's so many different ways you could pose her. My mm -hmm. Tila is always like no cobra armor, sword and shield, and then cobra armor, cobra staff shield um in the mini comics that's actually sorceress or the goddess's first look before if, the filmation did the if i was to pick this up i would definitely display with the cobra armor i love the way it looks it, it looks amazing i've always i've always uh wanted both <laughs> i always bought two but it's great it, it's very versatile it comes with a lot of stuff it even has if you're doing the sorcerers from the mini comics it's got the spear i think before they settled on the co on the cobra staff i do think she has the um I think she used a spear, so you could use the spear for Tila as well. I like uh, the Cobra staff, man. I love That's... the shield. It's so yeah. Cool. Everything's just amazing. Yeah, they. I mean, they crushed us. Uh, the one thing that was interesting was before I had asked them 
if the knee pads were removable, they're not even really knee pads. They sit kind of low. They're almost on the boot. But those are um, from the 2000X version. So mm-hmm. because the head's interchangeable, I did ask if those knee pads are removable. And the answer I got was, I think yes. <laughs> so um, I'm waiting to confirm. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I see the thing is, I would release her multiple ways because she was also a blonde. She also had her hair down. They could literally do a second release. We'll probably get the green goddess. Um, would you I'm get them all? <clears throat> oh, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna get I, think for, <laughs> I think for me, the green one, yeah. like I, I would be tempted on the green one. In- and <clears throat> I will say, if this is the only release of Tila with the regular skin tone, not the green skin tone, I would be tempted to um, pull an Adam and cut something very expensive. <laughs> And hack, Ooh. and I, I would remove those knee pads, those upper boot things. Oh, well, if you got multiples, why not? Right, with one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have, I don't have roof money to, to save Whoop. for, so I could probably do it. Oh my! God. But yeah, I really, I really love it. I think, uh, this is a timed release. I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was surprised. I thought maybe she might come with more stuff, and there would be the. Uh, there'd be the exclusive things that would be available, but they didn't do it this time around. But yeah, th- I mean, this is an easy purchase. Wicked. Yeah. All right. Chamba, what are your thoughts? I think this sculpt looks bloody gorgeous. I think they killed it with this one. Um, Yeah. Uh, how often do they actually do repaints for this Mondo line? They've done it. They've done them pretty often. Um, they've done cartoon versions. They'll do cartoon mm. colors. I think they've done it with Hordak. Don't quote me on this because I haven't been collecting Mondo super close. Um, Skeletor's had revisions. He's got the disco right. one. Okay. Uh, there's there's been quite a few. If there if it makes sense for the character, right? Uh, right this right, figure is is a brand new body, as I understand it. As that's well. why I was wondering, like, if it's brand new, they wouldn't want to waste it, right? Oh so... no, I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that a lot of this tooling will be used for Evil Inn. Mm is coming and right, right. uh goddess would be the third one that would be very easy to okay. use it as well mm-hmm. yeah and then i oh, and i put it to the ether that uh this year this coming year is the uh 40th anniversary of shira so mm, i'm hoping that's, we might, ooh, we might that's what you want 2.0. right right yeah really i was great. gonna say because they did a shira right they've already mm-hmm. done yeah, one. yeah. But yeah. they've done multiple He-Mans and multiple Skeletors, so I'm like, right. why not run an anniversary? So we're stopping them now for doing, yeah, yeah. totally. And this, nah, this and looks this body's so fantastic. Good. fantastic. Yeah, if they do, if they do release another Shira, I'm all in for that. I got to make I'm sure that my wife gets that one because she loves Shira. That pose is so good, and not only that, it's when you see stuff like this. It, I love the fact that Mondo did this really great job of promoting the figure that's up for order and it makes you want to go back and buy other characters when you mm-hmm. see the photography interacting with he-man and man at arms and beast man like this it makes you not say i need tila you're just like man i need them all mm-hmm. and their scale is frightening so it's like can, can you fit a bunch of these in your house well I, one I, way to find out i gotta say if they had made these in like 112 scale i would have gotten them all mm-hmm. I would have gotten them all. If they could they would yeah, but that's the thing in regards to most of the Mondo releases. Not only the Masters of the Universe, but I'm talking about the X Men line and all the stuff that they've shown. If those things were at a scale that, I mean, I do buy one six, but if they were at one twelve scale, I'd be way more inclined into picking them up, just because they've captured the looks a lot better than most of the lines do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these look fantastic. The shots are. I'm on the actual Mondo shop page. Way more shots there and. Oh yeah, so many, so many great shots. Hey, there, um, what, what was the one with the ponytail? Okay, which Pardon? one's the one with the ponytail? Which one's the one with the ponytail? There's a cartoon in two thousand. Okay, like that head sculpt, fantastic. Yeah, the it's face sculpt, figure. fantastic on that one. What's funny about her is that she's almost like He Man in that just in Tila alone, as much stuff as they packed in with her, there's mm. even more that they haven't. I'm surprised, so actually. Yeah, you could. I'm surprised there's not like a deluxe version or that one. You know how they do with mm-hmm. the He-Man, how it's like the timed one, how it comes yeah. with way more stuff. I'm surprised they didn't have one with this one because they could have. I'm her. looking at it. She does have a lot of accessories, but it's almost like, like there's usually a second slide with extra right. stuff. And I'm like, well, there's no extra. There's no extra slide. I feel like they looks great though. They could have taken this Tila, the the two heads, not the 2000 cartoon with the longer mm. ponytail, but those mm-hmm. two heads they could have done them in blonde, easily. 
Mm-hmm. And in the mini oh. comic, she has hair down with like no tiara, and they could do that in blonde. That would have been nice. Yeah, blonde and red as well. There, there is a lot that she's gonna get a second movie. release. Then you'll get I a hope. second one. Yeah, I don't want to have to cut those knee because they can always include that as like, hey, it's like a DLC pack type thing. If you get this new version at sale, you can have accessories that'll work with this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks oh. great, Ernie. Tila, so hot right now. <laughs> um, I mean, that's all I say. Yeah. yeah, right. Ernie's all. Oh my god. Yeah. She looks she looks so hot. The fact that you can do three different ones. Oh, yeah. This is great, man. I mean, they've been killing it with all their lines from this. Again, my wallet is very thankful that I do not do these, but mm-hmm. there is so much all the time tempting you to do that, and it's like Augie said. To make you go back and even get other figures, that damn shot looks like a statue, mm-hmm. like when yeah. you know the the displayed statues and everything, like somebody's yeah. bookshelf. It seriously does, and it, it's just it, it's amazing. So super super happy for all the people who do collect these and get them and everything. I know it is hard at times to get those ones that you really want, but you know it, you can see that it makes it worth the hunt and try try again to make sure your orders in and get this. Um, I do also agree with Chamba. I, I was waiting for that extra slide. So is that just sometimes when they add that like extra it. stuff? It seems yeah, to be case it's... by case. Oh, really? Okay. It seems All right. to be. I think Orko. Oh, yeah, did Orko have the extra? Oh, yeah. I think Orko might have had it. Yeah. 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 Huh. That that's all. Not that I mean it's a great sculpt, it's a great figure, yeah, but still I was I was waiting for that next one of mm. if you order early or you do this right. and you know all that stuff that comes with it. But still a, a great one. That that's awesome. And Ernie, yeah. um piggybacking on what you said, Zion Collectibles is asking, is there is there a reason that they do uh single jointed elbows? For them, um, with this brand, it's exactly what Ernie was saying, that it almost looks like a statue. The mm-hmm. idea with Mondo is to put as much articulation as you can, but they do prioritize aesthetics. So the idea is that you're not going to play with this thing, that you're going to find that really killer pose you want that's almost like a statue, and it's going to be articulated enough to hit that pose. So it's not meant to be hand candy where you're going to be fiddling with it. Plus, it won't be because it's one six scale figs. Most one six scale figs are rarely hand candy because they're just mm-hmm. cumbersome, you know, the, the yeah, size. Right. Kind of a chore, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this looks amazing. Like this looks absolutely killer. I remember standing in front of it at it, it, um, Designer Con, and I was just like, "Man, they knocked it out of the park with this! Mm-hmm. Like they killed it for sure." If they do the you know the green what is it the snake princess or yeah. the yeah the green goddess version i'm tempted i'm not gonna lie like i mm. i've always liked that look for tila i always thought it looks super duper cool um i've got one more payment left on my rogue so i'm nice. happy about that oh wow nice yeah so yeah no if they do the green version i'll, I'll get the green version mm-hmm. there's i i just because That's this cool. looks so good like yeah and then, like you said too, you're already waiting for Shira for Kelly. Like, yeah, yeah, no, okay. it's gonna, yeah. If they do right. another Shira, like that's, that's hopefully that's great. Yeah, that's you know, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Because I remember we were we were at Comic Con a year or two ago or whatnot, and we we're looking. I'm like, she was like, "Oh man, that looks great." I'm like, "Yeah, no, it looks killer." And I was like, "Can can I buy it?" Like they're like, "Oh no, it already sold out or whatever. It's just on display." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Well, I would have I would have bought it if he had uh-huh. it here. Like yeah. no touching you know. in the champagne room. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 None of that, none of that there. None right. of that no. the Mondo booth. Yeah. I still I still regret that I wasn't able to get the Harley Quinn with the hyenas and that. Like yeah, <sighs> yeah. I, that's I a that's that a one way. too. Yeah, I feel like I literally like always there's like a spot in my room that I look at and I'm like, gosh, you would have been beautiful right there. Like yep. for reals, yeah. Yep. The babies. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Babies. yeah. Someday. Someday. Yeah. All right. Let's keep it moving. We've got a lot to talk about here. Chamba, nice where are we going next? Um, scroll a little down, actually, if you can. Uh the 118 Ghostbusters. Nice. Yeah. That was what? Shine off at WonderCon? The mm-hmm. O-ring figures. Yep. Good yep. job, this Adam. Is- yeah great shots um great coverage this thing is awesome uh 
I, it's almost like something that had they came out, what, early 90s, late 80s, would have mm -hmm. been a definite pickup. The fact that they're doing it now, it kind of works for what it is, you know? Like, mm -hmm. people are questioning, is like, O-rings. I'm like, yeah, it, think about it. Ghostbusters came out then. It, it kind of is perfect. And now that you have an actual vehicle, the Ecto-1 that scales with it, they can actually ride. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah. What is it? The set of four for 45 bucks. And I think it was, what, Ecto-1 was 60, 65 or something like that? Amazing. I'm forgetting. That's too good. I'm, I'm most likely going to pick this up. I have no idea when it's coming out, though. I'm not really sure what information is out on this. I'm sure there's probably more somewhere. But, yeah, this looks so good. And not th I was not expecting anything like this. So it's kind of annoying like to see something where you're like you've got i've got a list of things i want to purchase this year usually we're surprised mm -hmm. with certain things and i'm like i was this was not on my list of things that i was expecting to see at all and i have no idea where i would put it at all like yeah. vehicles kind of annoying thankfully it's 118 scale and not 112 scale vehicles i know everyone wants a 112 scale i would love one too but then in the, in the end i'm like where would i put that a one, 112 scale Ecto-1, especially, I think it's going to be long. So, but yeah, this is this is brilliant. I think I'm going to pick this up most likely. Yeah, huge shout out to Adam for uh, yep. getting some uh, some some footage of these and talking <laughs> to Emily and Ryan. Yeah, and like, he did interviews. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was great. And, and was he did brilliant. it in pure Adam uh, uh -huh. fashion. It was exactly. 100% exactly. so yeah. way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you Adam fashion. Uh, yeah, it was uh it was great. It was great. Augie, what are your thoughts on these? These are amazing. Uh <clears throat> Ghostbusters came out in 1984, so this is this perfectly fits into that GI Joe era, which a lot of people say 1984 and 1985 was like that. It's like peak gi joe so mm. uh this falling into that is kind of amazing i kind of enjoy how uh hasbro is playing with doing things in a kenner vibe and doing things on, on a vintage hasbro vibe because they do have access to both i nice. would love to see uh animated versions of this like the cartoon doing like o -ring. and then i would love to see origin style of the original real ghostbusters line with like a little bit more articulation on them mm -hmm. Um, yeah, they yeah. have already done that. We, we saw it with Optimus Prime, and we saw it with uh, the original, um, the Automorph and Power Rangers. They added. Right, right. Oh yeah, that's right. So, so it's not it's not foreign to them. So, and I if they did, you can still reuse them. the Ecto One. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or the Firehouse. Shh, let's do it. Oh, I would love that. Oh my god, that'd be so good. Dang, but right. you, I know you said that you would not have room for this. I have many, many, many friends yeah. who would have room for this. So yeah. I'm, I'm really happy for them. Uh, seeing I it at it WonderCon was amazing. It, and I love stuff like this that's a complete surprise. I wasn't expecting this in a million years. Uh, so you could tell the Hasbro team is just, yeah, they're just crushing it. This is cool. They look like they're having fun as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is great. Uh, shout out to Brick Something. He said, I I'm late to the party. But uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, if you missed the Between Two Sentinels stream yesterday with uh, Brick Something and Jason from AWOC, um, go check that out. It was a great stream. All right. Ernie, what are your thoughts on these? Man, I hate it and love it at the same time. <laughs> uh, I, hate it. I do because we know that the other line hasn't continued on. They're a six-inch line. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing with Indiana Jones. You know, we're, we're not getting anything more on that. It's like, here you go. They feel like this is all we need, and I would love to see more. And then they throw this out there. I love the O-ring style and everything, and it's like, okay, I, I don't even collect that type anymore, but I do have mm. to get this. You're mm. right. At what? Like an average around 130 bucks, let's just say, and you can let's have say, the yeah. four and Ecto. That's that's cool i am i'm in for this i'm really me being in card um I, i'm really really curious on how are the are they going to be carded could they be carded joe style with a that you know a, a big background like yeah. like the old cartoon style figures are they going to do their own that would be really cool um so uh, i'm excited to see that and then if it goes well like i'm already thinking could we get like a little bigger not a to scale, but like say we got a pack of Stay Puff Slimer mm. and maybe one other, like a little three pack, you know, like 
Mm-hmm. This, what if this the Haslab was the giant staple? Very well. Yeah. So this is very cool. I, I'm going to have to grab this because they they got me in all the right places. So, yeah, nice. I like it. How about you? Well, I want to highlight Brick Something's comment here real quick. He says, word, <laughs> thanks, Cheney. Had to help clear Jay Shot's name. He likes strong women. He does. We know. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Yeah. I don't yeah, I don't, I don't know what the issue is. I'm just kidding. Go go check out Chad Mingo's Assemble on Tuesdays. Um, this this one especially uh, to find out what happened with that if you have not seen it already. Um, as cool as these look, I'm out of three three quarter. I'm um, I'm just I I I'm out of it. Um, and you know I don't really go as through that hard anyway so it's this is a quick or uh, this is an easy pass for me um but it, it, it is very cool i do like it um i would still prefer you know 112 mm-hmm. but uh yeah no these are these are these are cool man these are cool definitely a pass for me but definitely cool mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, let me go ahead and highlight this real quick from Nick's Figs, um, since he is always, you know, he's always showing the love. He says, can we mention how Storm won't be making Mortal Kombat figures anymore? Is it true? Jada, question mark. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, you know, that, that Storm's out of Mortal Kombat just yet. I would just say, hold out. Wait a little while and see what happens. That's that's what I would say. Mm-hmm. Did you did you see that um, early in the week? The the rumors going around, Ernie. Somebody had sent it to me. We had asked the same question. I don't know about the Jada stuff. I would probably break down and cry if that was true. Um, it's very sad if it is true because I'm still not done yet. I'm still not complete. And we mm-hmm. talked about this. I'm still waiting for so much good stuff. So we'll see. I know licensing stuff and like that happens and it is an issue. Like you said, there hasn't been, you know, something f- finally said. I know the pictures are gone and like that, but we can hope for the best for what we have because, like I said, totally happy if Jada or say something else came along, right? And we have that. But we've built up such a collection with our Mortal Kombat stuff. It, it'd be nice to finish some type of somewhere and, and get Katana and molina and you know other other ones like that instead of i understand you have to do the redos and the decos and we do have a couple of the the goros and shao khan and like that and you know Liu Kang with the dragon but i would still like to see more come out so i'm excited to see what the announcement is going to be and what's going to happen you know where where could it go and mm-hmm. i hope that it's not the answer is storm doesn't have it nobody's interested I hope that it's you know. I doubt it's that. Yeah, yeah. I know, but you know what I'm saying as far as like like that because I know, you know, Daddy Mac has it like that, but I just don't do that scale. Do some of them look good? And have I bought them on sale? Yeah, but I bought them because they were on sale, and Mm -hmm. they do they do look great. Like they can play up. Like I put them next to Shao Kahn next to a Street Fighter. Oh, that looks pretty good for you know he's supposed to be overpowering, tall, and everything. So it's just it's not for me but let's see what happens but i would i would like to finish with storm you know and have well, them yeah, here. No, i don't want to get rid of them i completely agree with you i think um i say hold out see what happens um yeah because like you there's a lot of people that collect the line and they love it and mm-hmm. i would love to see them finish at least one game mm-hmm. yeah it, it, i would love to see yeah, them that, finish that, at least one full roster happened. from one yeah. game mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's ideally what what I wish for, and and I hope that happens. Um, I don't know. Yeah, all, all I could say is wait and see. Yeah, because I, mm-hmm. I I don't know, I don't know specifically on a lot of things, but I can say just just wait and see, and we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Because I know that you know we spoke on Tuesday, I think, right, Chamba, about think, how there maybe. was. Uh, the thing where you know they're only putting out stuff for the current game they so, have to that's yeah. kind of part of the license right now that's why we're not seeing anything from any of the previous ones i know that's a 
But nobody has anything out for MK1 yet. Not even a well, preview shot. I don't think anyone's wanting to make anything for that. Or well, they're just making it still. That's the thing. Yeah. Or the yeah. or they're rushing to make it. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Um, well, there got... is one thing that we do know is that if Storm did lose that license, June is not gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> oh no. no. Yeah, never <laughs> bank on that. Either way, though, like June, like Jada still could have acquired a license if storm has it because storm is not an american company right right so it wouldn't have affected them in that way they probably would have had to work differently but yeah mm -hmm. we'll and see what happens time will tell mm. and they're different, different scales. scales yep mm -hmm. um we've got tyler here member for 21 months Ooh. thank you so much tyler thank you did i miss the talk on those sweet legends reveals no you did not we haven't not got to them yet yeah is Ty Tyler's choosing our next? Uh... <laughs> I think so, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's all up yeah, to you. Remember, uh, up to Ernie. Yeah, it's all up to Ernie. Where are we going next, Ernie? Yeah, twenty-one months. Tyler's a homie. Let's go ahead. Let's let's go ahead and hit up those Marvel reveals. You got it. Uh, actually, we've got other images up here. Let me just boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo boo. All right. So revealed at WonderCon, we have this uh, vintage card Iron Man wave. Ernie, where are you at on these? Dude, this was like seriously super funny because I'm redoing my room and I've cleaned up a lot and opened up a lot and I'm trying to get it cleaner and better that I could actually walk through here and not just to the chair of my computer. Um, <laughs> and I'm trying to move stuff around and get well, displayed. Here Here's the thing, Ernie. Here's the secret to that, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Get yourself some corgi puppies. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Get yourself two beautiful little baby boy corgi puppies mm -hmm. so that you have to have the floor clean at all times because they'll grab anything that's on there and <laughs> yeah. run off with it. And I've they'll seen take your... it in the backyard and they'll chew it up and you'll get mad and you'll be like, ah. Yeah. Right. I should have cleaned yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 so as, as i'm cleaning and doing that like i have to hang cards from the ceiling now and so these two came up the um war machine that i just found and then the other the iron man one that came in that deluxe set with the gun and everything mm -hmm. and um i i literally looked at them and i'm like oh i need to find another iron man because this card's too beautiful I can't open it up. And then next to war machine, these cards pop the, the purple and everything. And they remind me of KB days. These are the ones that you'd find mm -hmm. in the KB bins. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really very nostalgic. And I, I think the cards are beautiful. And I literally like said that out loud. Like I switched them from the hang pile to the keep. Pile, I mean, the open to the hang pile. I'm like, Oh, I got to put these up. They look too nice. And then literally that day, these were revealed. And I was like, no crap. Wow. All right. Well, looks like I'm getting another retro wave. Yeah, just on, out of room. Yeah, just based on the card. These are great. I mean, they have a good choice of figures. You know, we have the the gold model one and everything. Uh She Hulk is also in here. Oh, okay. Uh model 20, right? And mm -hmm. then uh the colors on these pop already regardless. Now, which one was this one? The it's it, the boots that the Mega Man boots that do it for me. Right. Yeah, this is this is model nine. This is nine. the one but that. What did, yeah, where is it from? Well, he's it, it's a nineties version, but the you'll remember version. him. You'll remember him mostly from the Avengers video game mm -hmm. with Captain America, Hawkeye, White Vision, and Iron Man. Is that Man. what I couldn't this, remember? Yeah, you're right. This is, yeah. yeah, this is the suit that he wore in that game, and that's why um, I'm. I knew it, it was up. something. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was something, and I'm like. Is it the legs? What is it? Okay, yeah. See, that's awesome. And then, yeah, She-Hulk looks really good. A smiling She-Hulk. I yeah. like it. It's nice. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have any issues with the figure either. So the only thing is, I wish they would extend her in the packaging to be that big. You see how they monitor her legs <laughs> and like the feet stick out the bottom. I'm like, that's ah. funny though. Right. Well, it I is, love that. It's yeah. like popping yeah. out. Well, let's tell. Like to see her go bigger. <laughs> It yeah, because cool when they did the original She Hulk and the Toy Biz ones, she was really big in the package back uh -huh. then, too. Uh huh. Right. So, right. I really liked that they did that. That was really, really cool. Yeah. I would have just liked it more straight to show, like, you know, that, mm -hmm. but that's cool, too. Okay. So, you have issues with She Hulk as well, or? 
<laughs> no. No, oh. I, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with her. I, I like okay. it. I think it's a great mold. Great. The face um is like I'm staring like at a comic, you know. So mm -hmm. I really, really like it. The way the color of the hair and then what, what Adam showed off during his video too, like I paused it and I was like, Oh yeah, she looks nice. So that that's gonna be a cool one. And then uh well, there's two more, right? You have whiplash. I'm not yeah. familiar with whiplash. Well, you might remember him from the Iron Man movie where he says, You'll lose, Stark. My book. Oh, is this the original? Yeah, yeah. duh. <laughs> See, he was <laughs> not realizing it's it too. Yeah. Yeah. I was the same way when she's saying that. It was the same. I was like, Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Where's my bird? My bird. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does this one come with the bird? No. So, no. Yeah. No. Oh, all right. Duh. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. Yeah. The, I the, honestly didn't recognize it to that. The 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 highlight of the whole movie, you'll lose Stark. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's cool. So yeah, I'm gonna get this wave yearly for the cards, but nice. you know, cool figures too. And I didn't know this one either. So um on Tuesday, this was named the Henrock. Henrock head. Figure. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, they said <laughs> nice. it looks like Henrock. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, and this seems to be like I'm not very familiar with this guy, but this seems to be the the crown gem of the whole wave. Everybody, oh really? See, I didn't know either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of people are and really excited about him. It's, it's what Nefaria, cool. yeah. right? Nefaria yeah. is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. I pronounce okay. it Count Nefaria. Count Nefaria. Right. So yeah. this is cool, but I don't know who it is. I mean, to me, it, it looks like Ra's al Ghul's brother or something, but that's, about okay. it. <laughs> I, that's what I see when I saw it. I was like, oh, all right, we're crossing so the streams here. It's it's Ra's al Ghul's brother named uh, Hen al Ghul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But over here, he's just down as Count Neferia. That's yeah, it. yeah. 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 Okay. But again, they get me with the retro cards, man. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, it was literally that morning, and I'm like, God, oh, these are beautiful. I'm going to put these up. And then. <laughs> Yeah. Heck yeah. So now I need to find an extra Iron Man. And because these were revealed that day, as I was looking that afternoon, I should have ordered. It already went up 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn it. God, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You it was can't... super funny the whole day. All right. Augie, what are your thoughts on these? I love them. Uh, when I, when I first saw them, it's funny before, I, you know, before you actually start working for toys as a hobby, I used to do wish lists all the time. So when I got into Avengers during Heroes Reborn and then Heroes Return, I was making Avengers lists and I would do this Iron Man line. It was always Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, and then three others. And I, I love this card. I love the cards. <clears throat> so this was right up my alley. And I love that they're cherry picking all the Iron Man armors. I would love this line to continue, to be honest. I, mm. I really wish. Mm. I was actually a big fan of the Marvel Action Hour. So yeah, just dude. seeing the characters from the cartoon, even though people have mixed feelings about it. I always say Marvel Action Hour, if you didn't like season one, really, season two is so good. <clears throat> I I would even love um, Tony with the mullet with that. Uh, that mm -hmm. said, I, it was funny. Ryan Ting was talking about um, before he revealed She-Hulk, he was saying that the last choice might be a little... Uh, controversial because she was not in the iron man cartoon and and but, but before he said she would be controversial i thought it was going to be hypnosia who is a uh, the only female villain and she was made up for the iron man cartoon wow so that would have been cool though at that point that could that? be a nice that would have been yeah. interesting and you could have done two paint variants because in season one and season two she's wearing the same outfit but in different colors so it's just been a paint swap uh whiplash he i think he used to be called black lash back in back in the day in the iron man cartoon he actually like the parts on him that are black are blue mm -hmm. and then the cape is a different color so they could have had a chase variant with him uh, on their hands if they had it um i love the original avengers so the gold original iron man is like of course gotta get mm -hmm. that uh she hulk i would even she hulk was actually part of the marvel action hour as well because later on they did a hulk cartoon mm -hmm. i would have loved to have seen this figure if there was a chase in the Iron Man wave, if she was on a Hulk card, like how Ernie says, how she's like, she wouldn't be little, like she would be appropriately like mm. in a card at the right mm. height on a Hulk card. I don't know if it's because they don't want to do a focused Hulk line because of Paramount. Do Hasbro do 
chase figures though? Is that something they... that they do they make ha- chase figures these days? Is that something um, that they I know, do? I know well, McFarlane well, does in, it all the time. In Fantastic Four, they did do uh flame on and flame off human torch and they did do it right Woman and clear and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i would i would have loved something like that or even like mm-hmm. with she hulk if they just did it her portrait's gorgeous if they did one where she was a little more serious like as like an alternate thing i would love like even what they've been doing with classified if like her hair was removable and you could that's what i was saying faces oh, and stuff just that, could, out. that could have been really fun i really love the way the she hulk loves it looks and i love the fact that I don't believe I shouldn't say this because I, I haven't have her in my hand, but I don't think she has any sculpted lines on her outfit. So you can do many, many, many versions of She-Hulk. I, I was just going to say, yeah, I was just going to say on Tuesday, I'd mentioned, I said, I don't think we've seen the last of this book. Definitely oh, not. I, I think we're yeah. going to see her in the Fantastic Four costume. Oh, yeah. I, I think we're going to see her oh, in, yeah. you know, the, she'll have the cartoon outfit, the, like the jogging, <laughs> the, the, the short spandex shorts. She's got so mm-hmm. many outfits. That's yeah. The thing. Yeah. I, I think that, uh, you know, you'll see her on a retro Fantastic Four card. You'll see her, you know, it, it, this isn't the last of this book. There's, there's so much they can do with this. I'm and, sure you know, know down the line they can add you know a new a new head sculpt in there where she's angry or serious yeah so. count nefaria so i was saying how i got into avengers during heroes reborn and heroes return george perez started drawing heroes return when they came back and he was using mm-hmm. all the avengers at once so i got into this huge avengers phase and i immediately started looking him up and then count nefaria was one of the first villains I came across in terms of like studying and he's a very long uh, super long time villain so he's kind of like when you get el diablo and fantastic four or dragon man it's just a character that's it's associated with classic classic uh mm-hmm. avengers so getting mm-hmm. him is a, kind of a must i love that he's so well received i actually thought he was going to be the one that people were like oh really who is this guy and i love that people are going nuts about it and calling him like the dark horse it looks cool wave. Because he's not obviously, um, he's not obvious, I guess. It's like a choice. That's a solid buck. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But that said, I would love for this line to continue. I hope it does really well and they get ambitious enough to do more Iron Man waves like this. I would love to get the entire Force Works characters, like Spider-Woman, Scarlet Witch, Century, Hawkeye on these cards. I would love to get the villains from the Iron Man cartoon, like Mandarin, like 90s Mandarin. Mm -hmm. Uh And then was Uh it like Grey Gargoyle and... Who else? Uh, Whirlwind. Yep, there's Whirlwind, uh, Great Gargoyle, um, Whiplash, and Hypnosha. There was one other one. Oh, I forgot him on Tuesday too. Dread Knight. Dread Knight. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. We need the horse too. Yep. But yeah. All right, Chamba. What are your thoughts? I mean, we we've already talked about this on Tuesday, but yeah, if they continue this wave with the uh, packaging and whatnot, it'd be great because. Like what Augie mentioned, uh, the Marvel Action Hour, the Iron Man show back in the day, they covered so many. Those, those that figure line covered so many figures that would be great to see in modern uh, Marvel Legends style. And yet, yeah, there's no way this is the last time we're seeing She Hulk. Hopefully, <laughs> when we do, though, hopefully, when we do, we'll have, um, you know, different expressions, different hairstyles, but I do hope they keep that green. That way, oh, it's yeah, interchangeable amongst yeah. everyone. Because that way, I'll tell you what, if they do it, if they do it, people are just going to continuously pick that up. And so good. why not, right? You can If you can interchange the heads on those things, especially when they're different expressions and different hairstyles, mm-hmm. perfect. It's perfect. a great color, too. It's a great yeah. color. Yeah, no, these these look great. Um, I said on Tuesday that I'm in for the uh, Model 9 and the She-Hulk. Definitely. Maybe the uh, the gold the gold oh. armor possibly but those the those two i'm definitely in for um i also said that you know she hulk this isn't the last time we'll see her but i i gotta have this one they they did a great job on that one um whiplash he kind of completes the uh you know the group of lackeys that mandarin had in the show with um you know whiplash gargoyle uh dread knight and what's the other one blizzard Blizzard. yes blizzard yeah they put out yeah i for, i'd forgotten all about blizzard yeah yeah blizzard's been out for a very long time so yeah you you with work with um 
with uh whiplash you have all of his lackeys so now we would just need you know that 90s cartoon kind of version of the mandarin and you would have all the iron man you know villains so that'd be great yeah um let's see here let's keep it moving it's my Uh turn right do it yep all right let's see what do i want oh yeah we're going here We're going here. We touched on this in the very end of the episode on Tuesday, but Uh this looks killer. We've got soft goods cape, um, plenty of accessories, uh, great articulation. It's going to go perfect with my um, Berserker armor guts that I showed off that I just got in this week. So uh, if you're a fan of Berserk, you, you know what's up with this. And if not, you know, you could just pick up this, you know, you could have her be a wizard or she's technically a witch, right? Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it, it it came out great. I love the vibrance of the colors on it. Um, she comes with a little golem, which is just absolutely great. I didn't expect that one. <laughs> no, no, didn't see that coming. Um, you get a lot of different expressions here. I think when they introduced this character into the story is really when it it kind of like kicked off for me like to me yeah that's where it kicked off everything mm -hmm. that happened prior to it was great don't get me wrong but it felt like we've seen it a lot Mm -hmm. that's what people focus on a lot but i think the story really happens after yes yes and i would love to see farness Mm. um that would be great but yeah, no, this is really when I fell in love with Berserk is when, you know, we had the introduction of her and Farnes and uh, I forget his name, the guy that's with Farnes. There's so many, so many. Yeah, characters. but, we, you know, you have that kind of, you know, you you formed like the, the kind of like core team or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's really when it takes off for me. The I love the the closed eyes faceplate. That one that's looks a so must. Good. You have to have that. Like they really knocked it out of the park with this. I, I I didn't expect it to look this good and come out this great. This is uh it, hopefully I can get you know get a, a pre order locked in with this because I have to have this. I've been waiting for you know a figure for for a very long time. Yeah, everything looks great, and they added. Oh no, we don't have the picture. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Tsumashi page. It's there. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. How do we not have that photo? That's the key. Yeah. It's funny because I had made a, a slideshow that I was gonna upload, uh, but Dario had already posted it. So okay. It's the last photo on this slide. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is the um Astral Fall. Yeah. That's that's really the it's the cherry on top. It really is, it is. a cherry on top that just kind of like you guys didn't have to do this. You could have put it in somewhere else, but the fact that you threw that in there as well just really pushed it over for myself. Like I was like, holy to. cow. Yeah, yeah. All right. Augie, I know you don't you don't really berserk, but what are your thoughts on this? So when I first saw her, I was like, oh, wow, she's really cute. And then I was like, oh, you know what's really neat? I love that cape. It really reminds me of what they were doing with uh, the Berserk stuff. And then I was like, oh, she's a Berserk character? Like, like she doesn't look like from the toys and the product that you see. It completely surprised me that she's from Uh. that series. So I didn't know that at all. I thought this was from a completely separate story. She that's could. She could fit somewhere else. That's the beauty of it. Too, yeah. She doesn't look like an obvious berserker. No. Uh, so that said, I mean, obviously they've already put so much love into the other figure, so this isn't much of a surprise. But that said, it's it's always cool when you know that a toy is going to come out great because the other characters come out great, but you have it in your imagination like, ooh, I wonder what they're going to do. And mm-hmm. kind of what Chaney was talking about, like, who thought you'd get an astral projection version of the same character? That's yeah, ridiculous, yeah. but they did it. Uh, well, this, the, it's just so dynamic looking. The best part about that is it, it definitely like you, it it pairs so well with the guts and the armor. The one mm-hmm. that I got this week, like you, you, they they go together. So it's like for them to throw that in there, like because me and Chamba, we were anticipating that to come with the guts and the armor 
when they showed the photos originally, I was like, oh, it's not here. And then when they teased that Shirke was the next character, I was like, oh, it's going to go with her. It yeah. has to go with her. Because yeah, it came with the Figma one. I've got the exactly. Figma one right the here. The Figma one came with it, and that's that one. But Yeah. But this one looks way one. better. I think there's a lot more to it, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, Augie. No, you didn't. No, I mean, please. I cut everybody off. Uh, <laughs> but this is... I, I'm just so impressed. It's almost that frustrating thing because I don't berserk that I'm like, man, I wish mm. everything was this good. Because because I want them to take this attention to detail and the execution on how well this stuff has been made and apply mm. it to the brands I like. Because mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> yeah. it's cool to see a line that I don't collect and I'm like, man, they're nailing it. And I don't even get this line. But yeah, it makes me it makes me Jones for what they could do with other other brands. All right, Chamba. Oh yeah, she's a instant purchase. She goes up in a few hours, actually. Um, yeah, when they showed it off originally, they had the prototype up next to a human form Zod, and mm -hmm. I'm, it's probably safe to assume that he's going to be the next one, most likely like a Tamashi web, like P Bandai. But nah, this thing looks she looks fantastic. Um, yeah, it'd be great to see. I'm sure it's probably not one that folks were probably expecting. You know, it's like where's Casca? But so that's that's pre, for the most part. There is Casca in, in the current arcs, but it, it looks very different. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, maybe from here they'll probably make what um, Isidro Farnese, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Puck would be cool just to see. Puck would um, be cool. Serpica is the other one. That's the one I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, that's Farnese's part. Yeah, yeah, that one would be cool. Um, but he no, he's awesome. He looks, I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's great. He's great. Um, there's so many cool characters, and she looks great. And so, yeah, instant purchase this one. That astral form, though, pushed it over. That photo with the hat, fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah, this is an instant purchase. And, again, she goes up today in a few hours. Oh, man. I can't wait. All right. So I know we've all been patient. We've all been waiting. We need to know what the fallen Fet thinks about this. Uh -huh. Buckle ah. up. Ah. You're not going to like what I think about it. Oh. Uh -oh. I saw it at first. How much is this figure going to be? Roundabout. Um, like 50 something. Really? Yeah. You Maybe know what 60. I saw in that first picture that we showed that was from our page and like that? Yeah. Like you could turn this into a BB Hood figure. Mm -hmm. oh, from Marvel vs. Oh, Capcom yeah. 2, that face. Her one of her colors is purple. So you throw the white apron on. Uh, she you has a little bag her already. Her ultimate color. Right, right, right. Correct. I mean, because I'm not Adam and have somebody who can paint it and look <laughs> kind of like that. But I saw that and I'm like, how, how, that's what I saw right away when I saw this figure. And I was like, oh, would that work? Yeah, because she looks, she looks pretty cool. So sorry. I was on that tangent of looking at this. Mm -hmm. oh, and then cool. you guys were totally all on your the extra piece and i love when when everybody can geek out on an extra piece mm, like that's, that is, that's why i'm getting is because that extra piece and that's that's <laughs> awesome right well no I'm, I'm something i'm primarily getting it for the figure alone oh yeah 100 percent. well that yeah I see, but maybe. is yeah it's that justifiable of you know well this is look it i need this because mm. wow so yeah, no yeah, it that's was very cool we we didn't know if we're like oh man is it going to come with you know the astral form is it not and then it did and it's like wow you, you get a golem you get the astral form you get a bunch mm -hmm. of faces and hands and a soft goods cape like a fat wild. little gingerbread man that's also yeah, the, the, the color <laughs> yeah so it's so cute oh, that's a fat gingerbread that's an ernie style gingerbread, gingerbread. Right there. yeah <laughs> Hell yeah look at him uh, he's yelling right now, the muffin man, and he's running away. So yeah, I love it. Wow, that's my favorite. Uh, no, nah, this is a good solid figure. And like Augie, I had no clue this was Berserker the whole time you guys were talking about it. Yep. That it was from Berserk. And I was like, I was like, For real? Magical Girl Show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
this thing must be very expansive so yeah yeah no like like i was saying earlier That's like cool. I, when when she gets introduced and like is in the story is i think uh-huh. personally like that's when it really kicks off for me oh like, really? there's a lot wow. of yeah like there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens before like that uh-huh. but like i think the they, they really hit their stride when you uh-huh. know she's introduced and in... when the whole he's whole uh you know uh traveling party mm-hmm. when got the traveling parties introduced yeah mm-hmm. that's yeah cool. that's really when things start kicking off and it, like that's really when i fell into the story all the way mm-hmm. so that's awesome all right let's keep it moving here we've got one more and that's up to you augie where are we going Oh, um, could we talk about? Oh, let me go back to the. What was that? You're good. I was like, there's a lot of figure arts being released. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I thought too. As well. Oh, wait a minute. Two rows of figure art. Wow. Oh yeah, Yeah. you needed me to go to. Where do I need to go? I think maybe Tokolek to collectibles, but I was. Oh, you guys have so much stuff on the page that I want to talk about. (laughs) <laughs> why is this show over zoom uh, it's because so it's because my computer was acting up i i, I no take good. all the blame no, no, it's no. my fault we, we also had really big halls today yeah the halls were larger <laughs> than normal and heavier mm-hmm. than normal yeah ogie and i had large halls today i mean we were I we know. Know like, who, who are these guys right wait till adam comes back i'll have nothing yeah when he comes in close I was cool. When he comes back, he's gonna be like, "What's up with that?" I know, I know. Well, yeah. next week when he's back, it's like I got nothing this week. So mm-hmm. yeah, you're, you're saving yeah. up for a roof. Um, I think it's is it to collectibles? Let me see. You sent me a thing, so let me let me find it. Chamba, um, I'm not like excited about it. Which one are you talking? Oh, it's called to to collector. No. I'm oh, we're going to talk about the Shoto Jacker figures. Ah, okay, yeah. I figured it was that one. I posted that in the Discord. But not everything that's on the Discord. By the way, yeah. Join the Discord. We talk a lot more toys that aren't even posted on the Instagram. So Toku. L-O-S-E-R. Yeah, I found it. Collector. He-Man spelling. Mm-hmm. Yes, Marcus E. Exactly. Oh, wow. <sighs> I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Um, I don't know if I got the right one or not here. Let me see. Yeah, I did. Um, right? Yeah. Okay. I just heard my trash can fall over and slide down the street from the wind. Oh no! Nah. Bad. It's bad. I've been hearing it's just so windy, all dude. these noises. Like I don't know if you guys have watched. Like during the whole stream, you could just see me. Like, yeah, you just said it back. Like, no. yeah, everything is like, God, oh, it's so bad right now. Yeah, I just heard a doo douche. Yeah, and then I heard it go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna worry about it in the morning. I'm, I don't yeah. even care right now. Just grab it after the break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in between. Yep. Just don't run it over. No. Yeah. And you'll be fine. All right. So what are we looking at here, Augie? So this is a uh, Super Sentai called, well, I think in Japan they pronounce it Jacker. But mm-hmm. a Jack, I used to say Jack Q because um, that's how it looked. But it's it's technically, it's the last Sentai before they started doing Super Sentai as like a yearly thing going on forever. They retconned it. This is the second ever team. So these mm-hmm. are from the 70s. They have like a playing card motif, as you can tell, with the diamond, the heart, the clover, and the spade. And then I believe the big one in the middle is based on the Joker, right? I think so. I believe so. And it comes with that massive can. Look at the amount Holy of hands you cow. have. And those are, and then they all have unique uh, melee weapons, and they come with those as well. <laughs> what is that? Wow. It's a lot of hands. I assume they have a lot of signature poses. I love they when do. they get to do the poses that they can do. I I have watched maybe <laughs> one episode of this ever, and I want it's this. fun. I want this set. Yeah, that's. I insane. thought that was somebody's flag. I <laughs> it, could be, it could be. Um, I only know this. I only know them a little more because uh, if remember, um, 
uh, uh, Gokaiger, they would transform. Gokaiger. Into Sentai, so Gokaiger is one of the best. They. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in. I mean, we don't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to. Sh- I wanted to show this to people because I can't believe this exists. This is amazing. So anyway, yeah. it's a Tamashi Web. Um, it's up, which is not going to be available at like Ami Ami Hobby Link, but it's up on Hobby Genki. The whole set. It's one eighteen scale, by the way. It's uh, it's available at Hobby Genki for sixty eight dollars. Wow. That's uh, a... Chamba, you will help me get this. Yeah, I'll give you the How link. How many people's one, two, wow. There's five of them, and oh, yeah, all yeah. those hands. But see what I mean? Like, that's why I'm like, I think we're spoiled when I when you when you collect import figures, you're kind of spoiled with the hands. That's why I, with domestics, I'm like, just give us one extra pair of hands. Yeah, right. Seven 17 sets of hands <laughs> for each <laughs> pair. How you counted them? Thank you for doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seven 17 sets of hands. That's amazing. Okay, Bandai, Is... you're up. Figure it, <laughs> figure it, you're up. That's they get really, like some of the Bandai stuff, like the figure arts, they get very well, high is, up there, but these ones are very specific. Well, this is Bandai technically as well, right? This right. is Bandai, yeah. yeah this is Bandai. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's their show. It's just, a different, it's just a different line. Shadow line is phenomenal. I'm just wondering, like, um, my main issue with the shadow line is that some of the uh colors aren't painted on, it's just it's stickers, and yeah. so I'm wondering what parts are stickers and what parts are painted. That so yeah, for um, those of you who who are interested in this line, Chama pointed out something very important. The one limitation that I it really drives me up a wall because I am bad at these is that they come with stickers. So if you want the really nice detail, I would kill to have really nice paint on them. Uh, oh, using yeah. stickers as a guide or something. So it's just yeah, that's the only limitation. Otherwise, these are outstanding. Yeah, I picked up some of the uh, the Dragon Ball Shoto stuff, and it was really nice for like the scale for what it was. They were mm-hmm. killer. Right. And then Cheney's right. buying four, Ernie's buying seven. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's well, crazy. no, that's crazy. Well, that's crazy because you get five yeah. figures, each come with 17 sets of hands, and you get this cannon for how much again, Chama? 68? 68 dollars. Yeah, 68. Yeah. And that's they're you know, that's unreal. Yeah, they're like three three quarter scale, but still you yep. get five figures, a cannon, and you get 17 sets of hands per figure. And it's, all single, it's mainly single joints, but if you could look at the knees, they have a lot of range. So there's mm-hmm. tons of clearance for it. They're, so they're they can charming. get a lot more articulated. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> Perfect you know pocket figures. But well, Chaba, you know what's really funny that you say that? Because you get this range, but when you see the, when you look at the figures, right, they have a little bit of like a like a vintage vibe to them. They're not yeah. they're not like clean like for you a figure no. would be but they got the charm of those old power ranger figures that would come with vehicles it's it's close it's, it's like got a safubi ish vibe but it uh, it's not in a way and it's, it's it feels so very charming, it feels very dude. vintage but yeah Even the limitations are charming they're super and the fun, wrestling the hounds member for four months yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being that many hands yeah. makes you want to throw a... see he four says that he says that here but if like a Mafex figure came with that many hands, he'd be like, "Let's go, baby!" <laughs> no, in a way, I think it means like it's so it's so great. It's it's sickening in a way that no one else is doing it. That's what I'm gonna take it as. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll 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 go with you on that. I'll agree with you on that one. That's hilarious. Yeah, That's hilarious. that was the funny thing is I'd get it, set it up, and show Chamba, and with that many hands, Chamba would still say, "Ernie, you have the wrong hands in there." <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, but there's, there's so many hands that you can mix it up. So <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. It's understandable. No, Chubb would be yeah. nice about it. He just wouldn't say yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's having fun. It's I do fun. wish that the Shota line did release villains. Oh, that's something too. that they don't really do too much. But in all honesty, that's a lot of like, like Bandai rarely makes villains as far as in the Kamen Rider lines, Ultraman lines. Ultraman, they're getting a little bit better, but. Yeah, villains are kind of something that don't it's so sell amazingly, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. this is phenomenal. The Shoda line has covered so many Super Sentais already. Heck yeah. All Long right. Day. Well, yeah. we are about out of time, but don't worry. It's okay. Uh we we told the bouncer take the night off. And uh the the door is open. No cover charge for the uh TND extra episode one hundred. So <laughs> So we're going to take a little break and we'll be back 
and uh yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna do another extra yeah we're gonna chat it up with everybody and uh i know we had some requests last week that we should kind of like go into how uh we met and all that stuff so yeah whatever you guys want throw it yeah we'll talk about whatever yeah it'll be fun go take a potty break (laughs) grab a drink Mm-hmm. Grab a snack, Migos. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, come back and we'll, see you. We'll be back. Yep. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out and let the uh, YouTube know you like what you saw. And, uh, yeah, you could have been anywhere else, but you decided to hang out with us, and we greatly appreciate that. I especially appreciate it because I had, you know, issues earlier in the show. So thank you guys for sticking through that and, uh, you know, hanging out still. We greatly appreciate that. So without further ado, Augie, how do we keep up with you, sir? I hear every Thursday night on They're Not Dolls, this very show. And the extra, if you guys get a membership, so tune mm. in for that. Uh, this Saturday, I will be at Frankenstein's right when the door is unlocked because <laughs> I need me some toys. He's and the first one in line. He's mm-hmm. the one I need, I need <laughs> yeah. some stuff that I know is going to be there that I need to get. And uh, yeah, well, at WrestleMania is this weekend. So I will ah. be, if I'm not at work, I will be pigeonholed. Uh, I kind of want pizza and just, yeah. I will Ooh, be that all sounds over. good. I will be, yeah, hours and hours and hours and hours of wrestling. Nice, nice. Chamba. Uh, you can find me at the Chamba on Instagram and Twitter on the Toy Megas Discord and uh Chat Megas Assemble on Tuesday, then up to all Thursday. Right. And Ernie, how do we keep up with you? I'm quitting, I'm not doing too much. So mm-hmm. you're quitting yeah. everything or you're just quitting just here? Gonna, no, I'm just gonna quit everything and why? Know, I'm gonna go live in a tree. Nice. Okay. That's, yeah, that's right. about it. Yeah. How how does how does your wife feel about this decision? I don't know. I just thought of it right now. It's like oh. you know what? Let's go live in a tree. Have you, you know, know you, can't, you can't display toys in a tree. You know that, right? No, but I could hang them from branches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and make <laughs> it look like a Christmas tree. Zip line. Oh, yeah. Well, I love toys with zip lines. But Gosh. when you go to like work and stuff, people are just going to steal the toys out of the tree, and they won't be that's there true. when they come back. That's true. But I mean, if you're living in a tree, you really don't need to go to work either. So no, you can you just don't. stop going to work too. So yeah, that's awesome. So no more mailboxes. Man. No, man, I'm everywhere. Full packed week. We got uh Mondays with the Boba Squadron. Check that out. Found on Toying Around's YouTube channel. It's Monday nights at 7 p.m. Uh Wednesday nights, my show, The Fallen Fet Chronicles, on my YouTube channel, The Fallen Fets. Go over there and check it out. We just had trivia. That was a good one did not know that about nintendo wow <laughs> yeah uh so check that out immediately following the sarlacc digest with some star wars breakdown and star wars news then here thursday nights with they're not dolls and uh, we do have an episode of how we do disney coming up as well too and Ooh. this weekend i will be at disneyland for dapper day weekend uh and it's also um the start of the star wars celebration at, at disneyland the um, the brand new Star Tours opens up. All of the new food and popcorn buckets and merch started today. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to run all the way through June with uh, special lead ups until May 4th. So that's where you can find me at. All right. Awesome. Uh, you can find me, Cheney180, on Instagram. Check out the Toy Migos Instagram. Check out the Toy Migos Facebook, Toy Migos Facebook group. Every night or every Tuesday, Chamigos Assemble every Thursday night here. And let's see, check out the Toy Migos Discord and check out the Street or the Jada Toys Street Fighter Facebook group. So, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as I said before, we're doing the extra, doors are open, so come hang out and uh, we, we will be back shortly. But as always, I am Chaney 180. I'm the Fallen Fet. I'm Chamba. And I'm Augie. Hi. And remember, guys, they're not dolls. You have to do it, Augie. You have to do it, Augie. Me? Yeah, Yeah. that's you. Plus Ultra!